King Amidala or or Senator Amidala. No, I'm sorry. What's <laughs> Senator Light uh, Organa? Yeah, Bail, Bail Organa. Yeah, Dang yeah. It. I was yeah messing up. You yeah. see Leia's dad. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was. Or his adopted. Right. Or, you know. Jimmy Smith's. Yeah. Who played him in the prequels also. Yeah. I thought that was really cool. And he wasn't like over, like you said about Darth Vader. He wasn't just taking away the show. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a nice touch. Yeah. I think he was one of two. Well, besides the droids, he's one of two continuations from the prequels mm -hmm. that was in this. Um, Mon Mothma was the other one. She had a cameo in episode four or in episode three. Oh, did she? Mm -hmm. I didn't see her. I yeah, that, they pointed that out, and it was the same actress that played him in in both of them too. Oh, okay, so yeah. obviously not the same one that played Mon Mothma in, in the seventies. Yeah, but but that was the same character. Yeah, so. I um, it was interesting because you know in the trailers. There were things in the trailers that weren't in the movie. Yeah. Like, uh, Mon Mothma was like, you know, you've been arrested for this, this, this. And then she's like, well, that this is a line. rebellion. <laughs> and they, I was waiting for it. I know. Nothing. That was one of the lines that first sold me on Jen. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, this is a rebellion, isn't it? Yeah. We rebel. Yeah. And I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And then the robot in the trailer, he was like, don't worry, I won't kill you. He never said that in the movie. Hmm. And my friend that I went to go see it with, he he pointed out a mistake where uh, Cass Cassidy, what's the name? Uh, Cassian. Cassian called Jan by her real name, Felicia. Felicita? Felicity? Felicita. And nobody caught, they kept it in for some reason. Where was that? I don't remember. He told me, though. F Felicity Jones? Yeah. Huh. So I'll have to look at that when I watch it again, but yeah. I thought she did a great job. Oh, yeah. She was really good. Yeah. Um, there were, were a lot of people who were thinking that she was um, the continuation from Seven. <laughs> like, oh, this is not... The female... What's her name? I completely blanked Ray. on the name. Ray. Yeah. And it's like, Jen is not Ray. Yeah. But I thought she did a great job standing alone. I, watching her conversion through the process of just like... Not caring. Not caring to... Yeah, having hope and yeah. using the same line that Captain Cassian used on her to then use it. Rebellions are built on hope kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. And then to see Leia use that also. So yeah. It was pretty cool. Not not hope. I mean, not rebellions are built on hope, but just talk about how this was the hope. Mm. Yeah. So I thought that was cool. Um, I liked the main bad guy. Yeah. I His name was Director Orson Krennic. Krennic. Mm -hmm. He was he was like a, a really good character. Yeah. I felt bad for him because <laughs> he was the one that like basically put the Death Star together, like managed it and put it together and then yeah. Tarkin was like, Nope, I'm gonna tell Vader and the Emperor that I it was all my yep. you know, plan. Tarkin and, swoops in at the end yeah. and takes over. And sends Krennic to the planet to die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yours is coming, Tarkin. Yeah. <laughs> I already know how it ends for you. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, I thought he was really good. When I first saw him in the previews, I thought that was supposed to be a young Tarkin. Mm -hmm. I thought that's what they were trying to go for. Yeah. But it was cool to see. Like I said, I love the po politics. I love how Darth Vader intimidates Imperial officers. Yeah. I love to see how they all position themselves to be higher or lower. Mm-hmm. Um, him choking out the one officer and he's yeah. like don't choke on your aspirations yeah. that was cheesy but it was funny because it's like a it. dad joke i liked it <laughs> I, I liked it some people pointed out online that vader's never been above dad jokes like that <laughs> like uh he even in the original ones where he's like uh, apology accepted oh yeah admiral yeah. piet yeah um so he's not above that yeah or the one they point out, Anakin, when he's like, so we decided to come and rescue you mm -hmm. while they're all tied up to the pillars <laughs> in the amphitheater. Yeah. So Vader's always had the, the cheesy one-liners, mm -hmm. and I liked it. So. Yeah. Can I admit? Okay. I actually dozed off in the theater. What? During the Saul Guerrero stuff on Jeddah. 
Saul Guerrero. Saul Guerrero was um, Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker's character. Yeah. The rebel without a cause kind yeah. of. <laughs> He's kind of. I actually dozed off there and I woke up right as they were escaping yeah. Jetta and it was being leveled. <laughs> yeah. I was um, like, so are you good? Are you bad? What's I couldn't your deal. I, and this is why I do want to go back and see it in the theater because I missed that whole sequence and woke up and I'm like, who are all these people? Mm -hmm. I fell asleep somewhere between when Donnie Yen was. was uh, using Kung Fu on everybody mm -hmm. and them escaping from the planet. So I missed some of the, like, who's this, who's Baze, his bodyguard and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, Saw Guerrero's voice. I'm not attached to him, unfortunately, because sorry, John, I still haven't watched the Clone Wars <laughs> series or Star Wars Rebels. Uh -huh. It's not my fault. It's next. It's Netflix's fault. Yeah. They don't have Star Wars Rebels. Um, so I wasn't attached to him. And I couldn't understand him, and I didn't really yeah. care for him that and much. A very raspy voice. Yeah. And it, it was this, this broke up guy, yeah. like mechanical legs. and. Plus, I went, we saw this at 3.45 in the afternoon. Yeah. I had trained that morning. I hadn't had a nap. Oh. I was, like, had just finished eating lunch yeah, you had all to the, recover, the and the I was things. tired. So, yeah. <laughs> I will admit, I fell asleep during the Star Wars movie. I fell asleep during a couple Lord of the Rings and Hobbit movies, too, though, so... <laughs> Who hasn't? I, I fall asleep <laughs> in the theater way too often. <laughs> but the parts I saw were amazing. Mm -hmm. So Let me uh, start that thing just before it clicks off again. Mm. It's been good. Hadouken!